Hey, this is Zach with PRP Seats, here today to show you how to install our PRP seat covers onto the 2018 NUP Jeep Wrangler JL. Our seat covers are designed to fit right over your stock JL upholstery and give your Jeep a brand new look with an OEM looking fit and finish. Our covers are available to order in five basic covers or you can head over to prpseats.com and design your own custom covers with over 60 different colors and materials to choose from. Now one thing to know before you order is that there are a few different variations of our seat covers depending on if you have a two-door or four-door Jeep Wrangler and if you have a Rubicon or non-Rubicon edition. Today we're going to be working on a four-door JL Rubicon edition but we're going to cover all the different options and everything you'll need to know to install on all of the different models. Once you order your covers, you should receive them boxed up. Depending on how long they've been in that box, the covers may have some folds, creases, wrinkles, kind of everything like that. So before you install them on your vehicle, our best advice is to take them outside, leave them in the sun, let the material kind of warm up, even out, flatten out, and get all those creases out of it. Now there are a few different variations, depending on if you have the two-door or four-door JL. Some JL models also have an extra armrest in the center. The two doors are a little bit easier. The bench is all one solid piece, whereas the four doors, we have a 60 section and a 40 section to the bench. For this install video, we're obviously gonna go over a four door Rubicon edition. No matter what model you have, most of the steps are gonna be exactly the same, just with a few different variations. So to give you a quick overview of all the installation steps we're gonna do to install these covers, we're gonna re uh, remove the four bolts holding the front of the bottom part of the seat to the vehicle. We're gonna put on the bottom covers on the two door. You just have one single bottom cover. On the four doors, you have a 60 section and a 40 section to put on. Then we're gonna put on the top covers. Same thing, 60 section, 40 section. On the two door, you have just one 100% section. And then last but not least, we're gonna put on the headrest covers. All right, first up, we're gonna remove these four bolts using an 18 millimeter socket. All right, next up, we're gonna install the bottom cushions. On two-door JLs, the bottom cover is one solid piece. On four-door JLs, like this one, we have the 40 section and the 60 section. So, I'm gonna start first with the 40 section. Basically, once you've un bolted these two, gives you a lot better access to the bottom of the seat. Just kind of wrap it around and then push this tab through the back. How these attach is with Velcro strips along the entire bottom section. Um, if you'll notice, we actually put a little felt strip over the Velcro. That way it makes it easier for you to push it through the seat without the Velcro sticking where you don't want it. Once you have the cover fitting exactly right, take this strip off and place it onto the soft side of the Velcro underneath the stock seat. If you notice, there's actually a small elastic band connected here to the female side of the seat belt. We wanna make sure that this actually runs over the top of our cover and doesn't interfere. So we're gonna to need to unhook it from the stock seat, put it over the top of our cover and then rehook it back to the bottom of the seat. There's a small elastic band wrapped around the female side of the seat belt that you're gonna to wanna to unhook. If you go underneath the seat, you'll find it hooked here to the little metal tab. Unhook this and then feed it back through the small little slot in the stock seat cover that it's in. You're gonna to wanna to feed this band and the hook back through those loops and disconnect them. Once the cover is on and set right, you're gonna to start to attach all these Velcro strips on the back. Now we're gonna to attach the other side of the bench. Start putting it on, wrapping the sides around the back and push the flaps through the back. Now 
Now we're going to start working on the top covers. The two large headrests are actually bolted on. There's no real easy way to get them off. So what we've done is create a flap underneath them. But for this, any smaller headrest, we're going to take those off. This one's pretty simple and easy. Push it up and then unclick it with the buttons. You're also going to take off this plastic piece back here behind the headrest. All you really need to do is just kind of pull it hard and unclip it. Once you're done with that, we're going to slide the top cover on. Undo the zipper. Then start at the bottom and slide the cover over. You're then going to take this flap, push it between the headrest and the seat, and attach the Velcro on the back. Push this bottom flap through the center of the seat to the back. On the side, you're going to find these two little Velcro flaps. You're going to push this in between the metal and the seat around this bolt and then reattach them. If you feed it through down low and then pull it up, it's a lot easier. Once that's done, zip up the side. You're gonna have this little excess flap right here, a zipper. Just tuck that back and underneath the cover. Next up, you're gonna go in the back and attach those two Velcro straps to each other. You're gonna attach these two Velcro pieces first. Then the main piece. Once that's done, go back to the front and all these Velcro pieces that run along the entire sides, take off the protective fleece and attach all of those. Then on the back, you're gonna to wanna to push the material underneath the plastic for this anchor. Now we're going to start on the 60 side of the bench. First step you want to do is to unzip the center zipper, then pull the seat forward and put the cover over the top of the headrest. The center portion of this cover, you're going to want to put underneath the seat belt and wrap that over the rest of the seat. Move the cover around so it's sitting on the seat for the most part where it should be. You have to pull down the sides and make sure the holes line up here where the headrest goes. Once you've done that, you're going to attach the Velcro strip here where the headrest goes through. You're going to push this flap through the bottom of the seat. There's a slot specifically cut out here for the child anchor right here that is attached to the top of the seat. After you've done that, you're going to zip up this zipper on the back. Next up, you're going to attach the Velcro strips here in the back for those two flaps and all the different Velcro strips that attach to the stock seat on the sides.
Then we're gonna push the cover underneath the two harness slots and underneath the seatbelt plastic. On the plastic seatbelt cover, you're gonna undo the two Phillips screws, pull the plastic piece out, and then reattach it over the top of the cover. Then you're gonna push the material around both of these plastic headrest slots. Start in one corner, push it underneath, and then work your way around. Then you're gonna reinstall this plastic piece. Once you've gotten all the plastic pieces on and everything tucked underneath, I usually like to do a once over the seat, make sure everything's fitting nice. Um, and usually I like to go back to the Velcro on the back and re-tighten it and make sure everything's tight. Once that's all done and everything looks good, we're gonna work on the headrest. For the large headrest, just fold them down, grab your headrest, undo all the Velcro on the bottom, then you're gonna slide it over and attach the two tabs on the outside, then the centerpiece. Then put on any middle headrest covers you have and reattach them. Then just reattach the seat legs to the floor. And after that, you're all set to enjoy your PRP seats covers for the Jeep Wrangler JL. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or email us at sales at prpseats.com.